In the world of entertainment, it's not unusual for celebrities to move from one field to another, and sports are definitely entertainment. A lot of actors and actresses have come out with their own studio albums or books. Athletes who are well-known have been showing up in movies and TV shows and even taking the lead. Not only does their name add something to the team, but they are also very interested in sports and want to be involved in some way. So here are the top 10 celebrities owners of sports teams. Number 10. Serena and Venus Williams, Miami Dolphins In 2009, New York real estate billionaire Stephen Ross bought the Miami Dolphins. Several celebrities, like Mark Anthony, Gloria Estefan, Fergie, Serena Williams, and Venus Williams, also bought a small share of the company. Even though they grew up in Compton, California, both sisters have connections to South Florida because they moved there in 1990 to advance their tennis careers. Both sisters made history when they became the first African-American women to own an infill team. Even though it doesn't seem like they have much say in ownership decisions, Serena is arguably one of the most marketable athletes of all time, so we can only hope she's taught the Dolphins marketing department. Number 9. Will Smith, Philadelphia 76ers It's crazy to think that the actor who once became famous for saying, in West Philadelphia, born and raised, is now part owner of the Invite team in that city. In 2011, a group of investors led by Joshua Harris of Apollo Group Management bought the team. Will Smith and his wife Jada were among those who put money into the company. Smith grew up in Philadelphia and is a Sixers fan. He has enjoyed being an owner, except when the team is lost. After Smith's famous moment at the Oscars, there was no per crisis for the team. Number 8. Usher, Cleveland Cavaliers in 2005, a group of investors led by Dan Gilbert, the founder of Quicken Loans, bought the Cleveland Cavaliers. In a press release about the move, it was also said that Usher Raymond Div, the Grammy-winning R&B star who most people just call Usher, was a part owner of this team. It was said that he put somewhere around $9 million into the club. The singer has been seen at a few of their games, and he was right there when the team won the city's first sports title since 1964 and everyone was celebrating. He even got a ring for winning. Number 7. Justin Timberlake, Memphis Grizzlies Since he was born and raised in Memphis, it seems like a good fit. Robert Para, a very wealthy man, asked singer Justin Timberlake to join his group of owners when he bought the Memphis Grizzlies in 2012. Timberlake became a part owner of the team as a result. Even though it's not clear if he is a part of the organization like some of the other A-listers on this list, he is always seen at games and on Twitter cheering for the team. Most recently, he pushed hard on social media for Grizzlies point guard John Morant to be voted into the 2022 All-Star Game. That's what I call an owner who cares. Number 6. Bill Murray, Street Paul Saints Bill Murray has never been afraid to show how much he loves the Chicago Cubs and other sports teams. Some individuals may not be aware that he is also a part owner of the Minnesota minor league baseball team Street Paul Saints. Murray is an owner, which doesn't come as much of a surprise given how much he loves sports. Like the other owners on this list, Murray can be seen at games and even talks to fans. Murray even let fans into the venue for one game. Some people might find it strange and off-putting, but it's very Bill Murray. Number 5. Drew Carey, Seattle Sounders this actor and Teba host love sports, but he didn't start to like soccer until much later in life. At first, he watched games in North America. Soon after, he started going to games in Europe, where his love for the game grew. In 2009, the leaders of the Seattle Sounders asked Carey to become a part owner of the team, and he said yes. Even though Carey is only a part owner, he has still made his mark on the team. Before he became an owner, he did so because the team had a membership program like other European clubs, where members can vote every four years on whether the team president should stay on or not. He is also the reason why the team's games have a marching band present at their games. Number 4. Michael Jordan, Charlotte Hornets So not only have many people called him the best basketball player ever, but he is also a major owner and chairman of the Charlotte Hornets. In 2006, when the team was called the Bobcats, he bought a small share of it. Four years later, Jordan paid $275 million for the team and became the majority owner. He bought the team not only because he wanted to own an Enba team, 
but also because he wanted to build a winning team in his home state of North Carolina. But don't forget that Jordan is not the only owner of the team. Nelly, a famous rapper, also owns a small share of the club. Number 3. David Letterman Rahal Letterman Lanigan Racing David Letterman, who used to be a late-night talk show host, had always said that he wanted to get into race car driving. Not only did he spend a lot of time watching races, but he was also born and raised in Indianapolis, where the Indy 500 is held every year. Bobby Rahal, the three-time IndyCar title holder and winner of the Indianapolis 500, was one of the people he talked to about this. After talking more, the two soon made a deal to work together, and in 1996, Letterman bought a share of Rahal's team. Even now, the team is still racing. They have won the Indy 500 twice, in 2004 and 2020. Number 2. Magic Johnson, Los Angeles Dodgers In 2012, Magic Johnson, a star for the Los Angeles Lakers and a Hall of Famer, joined forces with the Guggenheim Partners Group and Stan Kasten to buy the Los Angeles Dodgers baseball team. The sale went well, and the total cost is thought to have been around $2 billion. Since then, several well-known players have joined the team, and in 2020, they won the World Series. But Johnson is invested in more than just this team. Back in 2014, he worked with the Guggenheim Partners Group to buy the Los Angeles Sparks of the Wumba. That same year, he became a part owner of the Los Angeles Football Club. Since the Sparks also won a title in 2016, does that mean the left is next? Number 1. Russell Crowe, South Sydney Rabbitohs Most people know what this legendary actor has done on screen, but some might not know that he is a big rugby fan and backs the South Sydney Rabbitohs. Crowe joined the struggling club as a co-owner in 2006. Since then, the team's play has gotten much better, they've gotten more sponsors, signed big-name players, and in 2014, they won the Premiership. The club has also caught the attention of a number of famous people who have traveled all the way to Australia to watch their games and even become fans. Crow's help has been clear, and the story is so good that we wouldn't be surprised if it ever got made into a movie. So that's it for today. We hope you enjoyed the video. Use the comment section below to tell us about your favorite celebrity and sports team. Also, make sure to subscribe to our channel and click the bell button to be notified of all the latest videos.